Java versus Python, which language is easier to learn? Which language will have better future? Which language is faster to create applications? You'll find answers to all these questions in this video. Watch till the end. I've worked on both Java and Python and I've dealt with both Java and Python projects. So I think I'm qualified to answer all these questions. Before we actually get into the debate of Java and Python, I'd like to mention a couple of important things that you should know. Number one, never choose a language based on how easy or hard it is or how popular the language is. I get asked with this very question from so-called beginner programmers and they ask me which language should they start learning. And they ask me with an intent to understand which language is easier to learn. I tell them, never choose a language based on how easy or hard it is. Choose a language based on what you want to be in the future. If you want to become a data scientist, then Python is definitely a better option compared to Java. Or if you want to contribute to enterprise, web, mobile and big data applications, then clearly Java stands out compared to Python. If you learn Java, but you're passionate to become a data scientist or vice versa. If you learn Python, but you want to become a software engineer, either way, you're doomed. So never choose a language based on the buzzword or the popularity, etc. In fact, more popular the language is, more are the people who are interested to learn that language and more is the competition to get into a job. But the opportunities will also be higher. On the other hand, if you choose a language that is not so popular, there are lesser people who are interested or inclined to learning it, and so you have less competition, but you may also have lesser opportunities. So no matter which language you choose, it's going to take equal amount of effort to reach your destination. It's not that you choose one language over other so that you can fast track your career and get a job. It doesn't work that way. Tip number two, is don't spend too much time trying to decide which language to learn. Learning is more important. For example, let's say that you wanted to learn car driving. It doesn't matter which brand car you choose to start learning. Learning is more important. If you're able to drive a car with brand A, it shouldn't be too hard for you to switch to another car or drive another car with a different brand because the underlying principles of all the cars would remain same. In the same sense, it doesn't matter which programming language you learn. The underlying principles of all the programming languages would remain same. In fact, I'm a perfect example for the same. When I started off my career, my projects were in Java, but I also dealt with Python projects later on. And it didn't take too much of effort for me to switch or transition from Java to Python. Hardly within a span of two weeks, I'm able to comfortably transition from my Java mindset to Python mindset. That's because I had that programming and technology intuition in general. Even if you were to appear for interviews in top MNC companies like Google, Microsoft, they would ask you to write a program in the programming language of your choice. That's because programming language doesn't really matter. What matters is your problem solving skills, your programming and technology intuition that you develop by learning any of the programming language out there. And finally, tip number three. Programming language is just a tiny bit fraction of the entire technology and it is applicable for all the programming languages. For example, let's consider Java. Java as a programming language is just a tiny bit fraction of the entire world of Java. Because in Java we have a bunch of frameworks, libraries, platforms and we even have other languages that run on JVM like Groovy, Scala, Kotlin, etc. So Java as a programming language is just a tiny bit fraction of the entire world of Java. Same is the case with other programming languages. You cannot judge the entire technology based on its programming language. I just want to let you know that. Okay, now let's get into the actual debate of Java versus Python. And hopefully by the end of this video, you should have complete clarity and you should be able to choose either of the language and move ahead with it. Let's get started. Let's talk about ease of writing code or ease of programming. Clearly Python stands out compared to Java when it comes to ease of learning or ease of programming. And that's primarily for three different reasons. Number one, in Java, you not only have to write the needed code or the actual logic, 
but also the boilerplate code that would help you run that actual logic. Whereas in Python, you just try to write the code that is needed and you're done. Number two, in Java, curly braces are mandatory, whereas in Python, indentation is mandatory. Indentation makes the code more readable compared to curly braces. And curly braces might increase the number of lines of code. Number three, in Python, we have something called duct typing. That means you don't have to specify the type of data that is being stored in a variable. Whereas in Java, you do have to specify the data type of a variable. So that's going to save a lot of typing, readability, comfort of writing code, etc. Now all the advantages of ease of programming in Python comes with a cost and that is speed. Java programs tend to run faster than Python. That's because since you're not specifying the data type of variable, during compile time, it would have to be determined during runtime by the system. So it's going to take a tad bit longer to process compared to Java. And for the same reason, you might tend to see more runtime exceptions in Python compared to Java. Another advantage with Java when it comes to speed of executing the program is that it has so-called just-in-time compiler, which will do much of the heavy lifting and improve the performance. Whereas in Python, you don't have something like that. And that might be slight of a performance consideration. Next, let's talk about the testing time. Because of the fact that you might end up finding a lot of runtime exceptions in Python compared to Java, the bug fix cycle might have more iterations in Python compared to Java. Now let's talk about some of the statistics of both Java and Python. Personally, I don't believe in all these statistics because they're based on historical data and are machine generated. But let's take a look at Toyobe Index, which is one of the reliable sources of information to determine the popularity of a programming language. So at the top, we have Python. Next to Python, surprisingly, we have C language, not even Java. And Java took the third place, which is very surprising. And JavaScript is ranked seven, which is yet another surprise to me because JavaScript is being adopted so widely. I just don't see any reason why it's still there at seventh position. Same as the case with Java. And if you notice, object to C, which is pretty much the only choice to develop iOS applications is ranked 18. Now looking at this as a beginner, you might be thinking you shouldn't be learning object to C because it's ranked 18. We should always go with the number one language. You could be wrong. Object2C programmers are one of the highest paid programmers. And that's why I tell people never choose a language based on the popularity or the buzzword. Choose the language based on your end goal. But I believe the real statistics is by actually looking at the job market. So I went to indeed.com, which is the most popular job portal site. And I searched for the term Java and it has given me about 57,000 results. Whereas when I searched for Python, it has given me about 39,000 jobs. And when I searched for C language, which is ranked second as per Toyoba index, it has about 8,000 jobs. So all those statistics indexes would never make sense to me. And I suggest you not to believe in them, but the facts are right here in front of you. Java has more number of job openings than Python. In fact, it has more number of job openings than any other technology out there as of today. Let's talk about salaries. For an entry level programmer role, Python developers tend to have higher salary compared to Java developers. But as they progress through the career and gain more experience, Java developers tend to have higher salaries and they have seen significant increase in their salaries compared to Python developers, and that's a fact. Let's talk about database connectivity. Java has JDBC, which has amazing support for a variety of databases. And even if you were to switch to another database, it shouldn't be too hard for you to do so. Whereas in Python, database connectivity libraries are not so mature, or at least not as mature as Java. And this is one more compelling reason as to why to choose Java or Python for developing enterprise and distributed applications. 
What are some popular Python applications? Well, Instagram, Uber, Pinterest, Reddit, Instacart, etc. are some of the examples of popular Python applications. Popular Java applications, Citigroup, Barclays, Standard Chartered, AWS, Amazon Web Services, in other words, IRCTC, and then we have all the Android applications, Hadoop, etc. are all powered by Java or written using Java. Let's talk about alternative languages. In Java, we have JVM, on top of which you not only can run Java, but also other languages that run on JVM. For example, we have Groovy, Scala, Kotlin, etc. And if you complain about ease of programming for Java, then we even have Jython, which has same syntax as Python, but runs on JVM. Let's talk about legacy. When it comes to legacy, Java takes the place over Python because of its wide adoption in wide range of sectors. And that translates to a lot of jobs which are existing would remain existing for coming decades. Well, when to use Java? Java is apt for large scale enterprise web and mobile applications, which is majority of the market right now. Also banking applications where security, robustness and concurrency is utmost importance. When can you use Python? Python is better fit compared to Java in AI and machine learning domain. Python is also good fit for small to medium scale web applications where there is less possibility of scaling to large distributed applications. So here is the final verdict. I have shown you the facts. Now it is you who have to determine which one fits you best depending on your requirements and depending on what is that you're passionate about. Just because artificial intelligence is a buzzword nowadays doesn't mean you have to take that. If you're unable to decide on something, just go with any. Like I had mentioned before, it doesn't matter which programming language you learn. Learning a programming language is much more important. But if you're still confused and if you ask me which language should you be choosing, I might suggest Java because once you get the comfort of Python, it's really hard for you to switch to Java, whereas the opposite is quite possible. Once you're used to Java programming, Python is like a cakewalk, more or less. You still have to put some effort, but it should be relatively easy compared to you moving from Python to Java. Also, Java gives you flexibility to use other JVM languages. Like I said, you have Scala, which is pretty much on par with Python, and in fact, it is one of the competitive languages in machine learning and artificial intelligence space. And Scala, in essence, will have the best of both the worlds of Java and Python. And if you choose Java, you have the option to learn Scala because it runs on JVM. Okay, I really hope that this video has helped you decide between Java or Python. If you want to kickstart your career in either Java or Python, or if you want to know the entire learning path to become a full stack developer, do check the links in the description. I also kept some useful resources that might be helpful to you. Check the links in the description. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.